Today, I'm going to show you how to recreate Iman Ghazi 3D editing style using CopCut PC. Alright guys, let's get started. So we have the video we're going to use, just drag and drop in the timeline. And I'll be providing you guys with this video file, you can get the link down there below. Get your hands on it and practice along. So we're going to make a duplicate of that, press option and drag upwards. Then click on the down one, press V to disable it for now. Click on the top one, go to the right side and click on remove background. We're going to turn on auto removal. And right there, you can see it did pretty good job just with one click. Now with that selected, press V to disable it for now. We're going to use it later on in this very tutorial. So we're going to start with the green rectangle shape. Go to the left side, click on import then click on stock material. Then when you go to background, scroll down, you're gonna find green background on this very side. Also one quick tip to save you a lot of time, you can click on this very star next to it. When you click on that, it's gonna add to your favorite. So next time you just go to favorite and find it right there. Just drag and drop in the timeline. This is gonna save you a lot of time. Let's stretch it and make it the same length as the rest of the files for now. Then with that selected, go to the right side and click on mask. Then click on rectangle mask. We're going to use that. Just shape it nicely. So I'm just going to move it this way and shape it in this very form. So with that done, go to the right side. Round corners, I'm going to put in somewhere 10 to 15%. And what this does is, let me show you. When you look at the edges, it gives us round, nice edges. When you click on that, you can also use this very icon to create these same edges. So now let's make a duplicate of this. Press option and drag upwards. Then click on the down one, go to the right side and click on basic. With the scale, we're going to increase it to 102 or 103. With that still selected, go to this side, click on adjustment. Scroll down, saturation, let's take it to zero. Exposure, let's take it to 50. Highlight, let's take it to 50. And then white, we can take it to 50 too. So when you look at it, it's gonna create this white, nice borders around this green shape. If you want it to be bigger, you can go to video on basic and then increase it on this side. But with this tutorial, I'm gonna maintain it at 102%. Then we're going to make a duplicate of the top one once again, press option and drag upwards. Then with the top one selected, go to the right side and click on adjustment. Scroll down, this time around we're going to take saturation to zero and then the blacks we can go down a bit, we want to darken it a bit. Now with the top one selected, press option G to create a compound clip of that. Then go to the right side, click on video and click on mask. This time around, we're going to use horizontal mask for this effect. Let's rotate it to 180 degrees and I can bring it down a bit to this side. Now with the feather, I can increase it on this side or I can use this icon to stretch it a bit. So we just want it to fade in from the dark side to the green side. So you can work around it. If you want it to be really darker, remember, you can go to adjustment and work on that time to bring in the text so with the text go to the left side click on text let's drag default text in the timeline stretch it and make it the same length as the rest of the files then i'm going to type in what i want to write then on this side i can break it down so it's going to fit on the canvas or the green rectangle shape so i can go for something like this just go with what you want to write and how you want it to look so I want it to be something like this. Font, I can go to her vertical and then I can reduce it and make it fit on this very green shape. Now with that selected, let's go to animation. We're going to add some animation to it. Click on all. I'm going to show you one thing now with the text animation. When you scroll down, you can find grow all. So we're going to use grow animation for this tutorial. Just click on that and we can increase the duration to somewhere two seconds. And one thing about the text animation now, you can add it to your favorite. So just like we did earlier on, you can just turn on the star. Then when you click on this star icon, that's where your favorites are going to be. You can easily find them here and this is going to save you a lot of time. So now when you play and see how it looks like, come in nicely. 
With an line animation, let's go to same default test, drag and drop in the timeline, make it the same length as all of them. And we're gonna type in underscore five to eight times, depending if you wanna make it really thin. Then I can just reduce the size using the on-screen controls and move it to this side. I think the dashes, the underscore, I can delete one or two from that and move it to this very side. We're gonna bring some dot next to it with that selected i can move it on the x axis so there is the x axis on the position i can move it to the negative side and this is going to move to the left side of the screen so i can go a bit more to the negative side with that still selected go to animation click on in you can go to all once again and search for the animation we're going to use but to save time i'm going to go straight to my favorite and I'm gonna use blur left. So just click on that, and then I can increase the duration to somewhere two seconds, and you can see it comes in nicely on the screen. Now we're gonna bring one dot on next to it, default test, let's drag and drop in the timeline. Stretch it and make it the same length as the rest of them. Then let's just delete this and type in dot. Now you can see it's gonna look round. I'm gonna show you guys, move it to this side, but we want it to be in a square form and then we're gonna rotate it a bit. So with that, we can change the font style to something else and see how it looks like. So I can go for her vertical and when you look, it gives us this square nice shape that we wanna use. Let me increase that a bit using the on-screen controls. Now to see what we're doing, let's increase the space, the size of the space so we can see how it looks like. Then we can use this side and move it up and place it nicely how we want to place it. So somewhere here, then we can rotate it a bit using the on-screen controls. So we want to go for something like this. Now this looks pretty cool. Then click on this side and let's take it back to normal size. Now with the line and the dot, we want it to look a bit fade out. So just select the two. This is the line and this is the dot. Select the tool, then go to the right side, click on basic. Then when you scroll down under blend, when it's not showing, just click on this side, it's gonna come out. Then opacity, we can take it to somewhere 50%. So when you look on the screen, we want it to fit in than the rest of the whole thing. So I can go a bit more than 50. I think 60% looks pretty cool. Then click on this side. Let's add some animation to the dot to make everything look nice. So go to animation, click on all, and this we're gonna use just fade in and I can increase it to somewhere 1.7 seconds. Now select all these files. That's the green rectangle and also the lines and the text. Option G to create a compound clip of all of this. And that's one thing about compound clips, it's so powerful. So with that selected, Let's just drag it and drop it in between these two video files. Now we can click on this top one, press V to enable it. Click on the down one, press V to enable it. Now let's click on this side and move it right next to this side on the screen. And now the fun part. So to get this 3D look, go to the effect on the left side, click on that. And then you can search for player three on this very side. I already have it on my favorite. This is the effect we're gonna use. Always make sure you click on the star so it's gonna add to your favorite. Then with that, we're just gonna drag and drop on this very green rectangle shape that we created. With that selected, let's take glow down to zero. We don't need that. And also with the texture, this is the texture when you look side, it has this. Let me move it to this side so you can see. It has this music player, we don't need that. So we're just gonna take it to zero. Now let me move it back to this position. Now to get this 3D look, we're gonna use this rotate sign. Just rotate it to this side or to this side, depending on how your edit looks like. So with this edit, I can go to the right side and go to somewhere 87 or 86. And one good thing about this effect, it comes in with an in animation already built in. There's nothing you can do about it. When I play and show you guys, it comes in slowly sliding up and also fading in. And with this tutorial, it's gonna fit exactly with this kind of tutorial we're going for. So with that selected, when you click on video, 
This is the effect we're using. Just click on the pen tool to bring it out. This is the speed of it. With this tutorial, I want it to really slow down so I can turn the speed down and play and show you guys. Now you can see it comes in very smooth. And also if you want it to be fast, you can just increase it to the right side. And then when I play and show you guys, it comes in really fast. So now I'll just take it back to this left side so it will slow down. And one thing about this effect, if you don't want this in animation already built in and you want to take it out, one trick you can use is, let me click on this and make a duplicate and show you guys really quick. Then let me click on this one and press V to disable it. I'm just showing you guys what you can do. So with this, what you can do to take that effect off, just make a compound clip of that same file option J to make a compound clip. Then the beginning side, you can just trim that off. So now when I play and show you, it has this animation, take it off nicely for you. So that's one trick you can use if you don't want the in animation that comes with this effect. Now let me just delete that. We're not gonna use that. Click on this and press V to enable it. And also before we move on with this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys one thing about this. This is a video file I got online, just drag and drop in the timeline. Take the volume down. So with this, you can also use it on text file. Go to the left side and click on test. Let's drag the full test in the timeline, stretch it and make it this long. Just to show you how you can use this. So with this, I can just write something here downtown then I can just move it to this very side. So when I'm happy with this, I can just make a compound clip of this text file, option G, make a compound clip of that. And also one thing about this effect, when you add it to compound clip, it comes out clean than just dropping it on the file itself. So I'm just click on that, go to the left side. We're gonna bring this effect, drag and drop on it. Glow, we're gonna take it a bit down. With this tutorial, I want it to be around the test, so I'm gonna leave it a bit on. Then texture, remember this music file, we don't need that, this player, just take it down. Then rotate, I can go to something like this and place it nicely on this side. Then I can just click on this video file, go to video, and with the rotate, I can work on it a bit. I just want to place it nicely on this side. Then with the skill, I can go down a bit and place it nicely on this side. Also with this, I'm going to show you guys one trick. When you click on that, and then let's turn the effect on so we can see it. You can see the rotate, it ends at 100, which means you can't rotate it anymore. But one trick you can use, you can add more to it, just drag and drop on it. Let's take the glow down, texture down. And now we can rotate it more if we really want to rotate it. So with this, you can add more to it and rotate whatever file you want to rotate. And this is pretty cool. Now I'm going to delete that. We don't need this tool for this tutorial. So when this come in, we want it to go up a bit when it comes in. So I'm going to take my player to somewhere here, click on this very file and go to video. Then on position, let's drop a keyframe on that side. Then we can go 10 frames forward and drop another keyframe on that side. And there we can move the Y axis a bit up by using these arrows. So now when I play and show you, it comes and then it goes up a bit. Let's make that smooth. Click on that option K to bring the graphs out. It was the Y axis we worked on. So just click on that, click on this keyframe and let's click on this drop down menu. Let's change that to auto curve. Click on this and change it to auto curve and play and see how it looks like. Pretty cool. It looks too fast for me. So I'm just going to move the keyframe a bit away from that. So with that selected option K to collapse that keyframe graphs. Now, if you want it to go down, you can add some out animation to it. Let me drag it here. Click on that, go to animation and select out. You can go for slide down and increase it a bit on this side. Now let's make it really smooth. Click on that file, go to video, scroll down. Opacity, let's drop a keyframe on that side. Then let's go to the last part one frame and let's turn opacity down to somewhere zero or 2%. Now when I play and show you guys how it looks like, it comes in nicely, goes up, showing whatever it's on this side, and then it goes down.
To make this effect look more cool, you can just click on this file, go to effects. We're going to add my favorite effect, play pendulum, just drag and drop on it. With a twist, let's take it to zero. The strength, let's go down to somewhere four or five. Sharpen, I don't want that. I'm going to reduce that. And then also the speed, I'm going to reduce that a bit. So now I'll play and see how it looks like with the play pendulum effect. When you play, it comes in nicely and you can see it floats a bit in the air and then it goes down on the screen. All right, guys, catch you in the next one. Peace.